placed on high alert for an escalation of violence in the region after Iran warned of a possible retaliation against Israeli strike on an Iranian embassy in Syria that killed two Iranian generals earlier this month. Now, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal citing U.S. intelligence, Tehran could strike Israeli soil within the next 24 to 48 hours. Concern about a possible attack has prompted international actors to try to defuse the situation, which has spilled over from the ongoing war in Gaza. America's top general for the Middle East moved up his trip to Israel to discuss the threat, while the top diplomats of China and the U.S. held a phone call about the situation. Wang Yi has urged Washington to play, quote, a constructive role in the Middle East. And Antony Blinken has asked Beijing to use its influence to dissuade Iran from striking Israel. Secretary Blinken has been engaged in diplomacy over the past 24 hours uh, through a series of calls to foreign counterparts, including Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, and Saudi Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan to make clear that escalation is not in anyone's interest and that countries should urge Iran not to escalate. Well, other countries are also taking precautions in the region. The U.S. has restricted movements of its diplomats in Israel. France has urged its citizens to avoid traveling to Iran, Lebanon, Israel, and the Palestinian territories, while India has advised citizens against traveling to Iran or Israel. For more, Alex Kadia joins us. He's live in Tel Aviv. Alex, how credible is this threat? of a retaliatory strike by Iran, and how is Israel preparing for the possibility of escalation? Well, Dawn, it really isn't a question of if this is a credible threat, it is a question of when and how Iran will strike. You mentioned that potential timeline of the next 24 to 48 hours. U.S. intelligence uh, speaking to CBS, giving us a little bit more of a picture of what the how could look like, saying that it could happen as early as today with more than 100 drones and dozens of missiles targeting military infrastructure in Israel. That's clearly uh, the important detail. There is still a concern, of course, there is in big populated areas like here in Tel Aviv. Everybody here is aware of their nearest bomb shelter and they know how to get there if they need to. Uh, we know the Israeli uh, military saying they're on very high alert bracing for any attack. They've boosted the air defenses, which we expect may come into play here uh, to protect Israeli assets and Israeli soil. We've also heard warnings from Yoav Gallant, the defense minister, saying that if Iran strikes Israel directly from Iranian territory, Israel will uh, reply, respond in kind, hitting Iran directly from Israeli territory. Now, that kind of road to escalation is what those diplomatic efforts have been trying to avoid. We know as we just mentioned, the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, speaking to all the key powers around the world, trying to have every, uh, all of them leaning on Iran and on Israel where possible to avoid this escalation. We've also heard U.S. intelligence sources saying these strikes by Iran may not be uh, that massive that they will force an escalation on Israel's side. Realistically, we don't know uh, how and when this will hit. We know it'll happen soon. We don't know how it'll happen, but certainly that fear of escalation very present here in Israel.